Okay guys, this is my first leg hole set that I put out. It's got a little, little bit of a limb or rotten cedar behind it. Right in front of it we've got the bait and uh, hopefully that'll bring them around to where they can actually step on the pad and maybe we'll catch something right here. I have an anchor set, I don't know if you can see it, but it's attached to a cable, attached to a uh, chain, and then here we got a number two duke. Three, actually it's a number three duke. What we gotta do now is get this back in this hole and set it back up, make it to where it won't move. here the next thing we'll do is uh, I think that's what we call it you can use it it just almost went off we're be good and solid move or something steps on it probably scare them off what I have here I made last winter this is actually sand with uh, paraffin in it and it stay dry even in wet weather it's supposed to rain tonight so we we'll put a little bit of this in there for around the edges next we'll take some peat moss uh, peat moss in there we, we sift it Crap. Don't want any impurities in there for the hip it. And I've done a my dirt hole here and I'm about to put some bait in it. And all this bait is is deer meat to spoil and glycerin so it won't freeze up. A big bunch of it out. Drop it down in the hole. And I'm gonna use some of this grass to help me control where the, the animal will be walking. I'll take some of this. Hopefully that's my set. If you had a little bit of a close-up on my final product there. Hopefully they'll come in there. The reason I use this little spot, we've got a cedar tree down. And it kind of guides them through that fence there. 
when you get into this area, they smell it, search it out, and hopefully step on my trap. Okay, guys. Uh, I first come to you by talking about oh, a year ago or two, I put out a little video on, on uh, catching the varmints. The varmints being the raccoons, possums, skunks, coyotes, bobcats, and uh, to yesterday, I put out two leg hole traps. So, and then I've got out, well, I had out four dog proofs that I've had out for a couple of weeks. And during that couple of weeks, prior to yesterday, I, uh, I had caught eight raccoons, four possums, and a skunk. I checked one leg old trap, nothing, two of the dog proofs, nothing, and I've come up to my second leg hold, and uh, actually, I have a coyote in that trap. The reason we're doing this is several years ago in this field right here where I'm standing, I could count many turkey, and henceforth later to the day, I'm lucky to even catch or catch sight of a few turkeys. And uh, we still have a few, but there's nothing like there was. But I don't know what caused the reduction in turkey population, but I do know that by predatory means, a lot of them are caught even as, you know, the all the raccoons and possums and the skunks there. They destroy the nest, and uh, and once the if they make it through the nesting period and they've got small ones, then you, you the coyotes and the hawks and well, as my buddy once said, everything wants to eat a turkey, so they do have a hard way to go, and we're trying to reduce that to give them a little more relief, so maybe they'll have a few more chicks, and uh, we'll have a little better population, so. Let me show you the coyote I've got up here. He's trying to get out. He's chewing at it. He's looking at me. And he don't like where he's at right now. Looks like a female. She's been dispatched. And as you can see, look at the area that she's dug up around there where the trap is show you how that works here's how she's come looks like my two toes dogs coats so to speak are very smart animals and uh, this one I'll take one more out plus it's female means a few less coyotes for the area for a little bit. We do know that in talking about that, if you catch out so many, then there'll be something else will eventually come back into the same area. So it's a never ending cycle. We're going to continue to do these things. Remember, we're talking about outdoors. We're trying to help the game and, uh, well, actually, they'll eat about anything they can catch. Small dogs, cats, you name it. And uh, so we got to get to work here. And remember, talking about outdoors. If you're not out there, you can't catch them.